Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solve equations involving rational exponents. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So we're going to start off here with a definition of rational exponents. A rational exponent indicates a power in the numerator and a root in the denominator. There are multiple ways of writing an expression, a variable, or a number with a rational exponent. a to the m over n power is equal to a to the 1 over n power all to the m power, a to the m power all raised to the 1 over n power, the nth root of a to the m power, and the nth root of a all to the nth power. Okay, oof, a lot there. So let's go dive into an example here with uh, evaluating, evaluating a number raised to a rational exponent. So we have a number one here. We have eight to the two thirds power. Okay, well, how can we write that using our rules? Well, eight to the two thirds power is the same thing as saying, well, eight to the one third power all squared, right? And then to the one third power, what's eight to the one third power? The third root, right, of eight is two. So we have two squared, and two squared is four. Not too bad, okay? So we'll start with baby steps, and we'll keep working our way up. Let's try another one. This example here, uh, we have an equation including a variable raised to a rational exponent. So we're gonna solve this. We have a variable, rational exponent, five fourths, okay? All right. Well, how do we do this? Oh, sorry, and it's equal to 32. There we go. So we must solve for x. Hmm, well, how can we do this? Well, watch this. We have x to the 5 fourths power. What if we raised both sides to an identical power? We're allowed to do that. So we take x to the 5 fourths power, and we raise it to the 4 fifths power. And we do the same thing with 32. The 4 fifths power. That means our rules of exponents, 5 fourths times 4 fifths is just 1. So we have x to the first power, or just x here. And now we have 32 to the 4 fifths power. Okay. Well, hmm, what's the fifth root of 42? Or 32, right? So if we see that we have the, we can do this as like the fifth root of 32 to the fourth power. Fifth root of 32 is 2 to the fourth power, and then x equals two to the fourth power, which is 16, and we are done, okay? All right, let's dive into a third example here. We wanna solve an equation involving a rational exponent and factoring. So we have three x to the three-fourth power is equal to x to the one-half power. All right, so what do we need to do here? Okay, well there's a few ways we can go about solving this. What I'm first gonna do is set it equal to zero. And to do that, I'm gonna subtract a x to the one half to both sides. So we have three x to the three fourths power minus x to the one half power is equal to zero, all right? So then what I wanna do is see what I can pull out here. What do we know about, well, we have rational exponents. I wanna have the same base. So that one half can turn into two-fourths, right? So we have three x to the three-fourths minus x to the two-fourths power equals zero. Same thing, writing a little different. Now I'm going to pull out an x to the two-fourths on both sides, both parts. So I pull out x to the two-fourths here. I'm left with three x to the one-fourth power minus one here equals zero. And now we can do what we've done before. We have two different parts that are multiplied that we can set each individually equal to zero. So we have x to the two-fourths power, which is the same as one-half, leave it as such for right now, and we have three x to the one-fourth power, minus one equals zero. From there, we wanna solve each one individually, and luckily, well, x to the two-fourths power equals zero. The only value that makes that true is just when x equals zero. So we have x equals zero here. The other one, we add one to both sides. So we have three x to the one-fourth power, equals one, divide three to both sides, x to the one-fourth power equals one-third. And then from there, we can raise both powers 
both to the fourth power to get rid of that one fourth power. Okay, so we have x by itself, and then one third to the fourth power. Well, fourth power to the th three in the denominator makes it 81. So we have one over 81, right? Because one to the fourth power is just one, th three to the fourth power, 81. So x equals one over 81. So our two values here are x equals zero and one over 81. Okay. Well, I hope this video was informative for you. If so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.